Hey guys, it's Tyler from Reviews of Cool Stuff, and today we're looking at this. This is the XO X7 Ranger Plus drone. Now, this is a drone, um, XO is a new company. Um, they've just been around a couple of years, and this is kind of their star drone. Um, it's their middle of the run, which for them is, is high end. They do have um, a few that are a little fancier, um, that are specifically for professionals, um, and then they have an entry level drone that's in the $150 range. Um, I think it's called the XO Scout. This is the Ranger Plus. They used to have a Ranger, now they just have this Ranger Plus. And this is kind of their, their thing, and they do it well. Um, so I've been playing with it and actually using it for work for the last few weeks. Uh, and so this will be a full review that talks about um, kind of some of the features, what to expect, what I like, what I don't like. Um, we'll give you the whole skinny here. Let's start with the design. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful drone. Um, it, I, it just folds out um, and you've got your motion sensor on top for obstacle avoidance. It has 150 degree obstacle avoidance. And then you've got your camera on the bottom with the gimbal. Now this is a three axis gimbal um, and the photos are nine megapixels, so pretty high quality photos and the video can uh, shoot in 2K. I think their higher end um, drone does the full 4K, but this one just does 2K, which is still pretty awesome. Um, definitely better than anything that was even available two or three years ago. Uh, and so really high quality uh, video, and I'll show you some samples of that here. So with the drone, you'll see that um, we've got a pretty awesome battery here. The, the, it comes with two batteries, so we've got two of these bad boys. Um, it'll give you a full 25 minutes. So you're gonna get 50 minutes off a single charge, and then of course if you bring a, a battery pack or whatever, you can have one charging while the other one's going. Um, and so that's pretty awesome to have those two batteries. Also with the battery, the controller, um, I haven't had to charge it yet. <laughs> so I don't know how long it lasts, but at least four or five hours. Uh, because I haven't had to charge. Now it will just plug into a USB, so that's an easy charge on this one. One more thing about the camera is it does have a zoom that you can do straight from the app, so while you're um, controlling it, you can do, it has like a 50 time digital zoom. That's not gonna change the quality of your video, um, and so anytime I need to zoom like that, I just shoot the video, and then I zoom in post-production, um, but you can zoom straight from the app so if you're shooting something and you want to zoom in on it um, right at, 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 in real time uh, you can do that so that's pretty cool so let's talk about the flying experience uh, EXO promotes this drone as a beginner drone or at least a drone that anyone can use a child can use and I've had my kids try it out and they're right, any kid can use it. However, I wouldn't consider this a beginner drone just because of the modes that it has and the functionality it has. There is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I've owned a dozen or so drones and this one handles better than most, uh, but there definitely are beginner drones that are foolproof, that are really, really simple for kids. And I think this one's a little more difficult than that. So I wouldn't say that this is a drone that you'd want to give a child um, but maybe a teenager on up to adults. That's kind of where this is geared towards. Now, where I live, it's super, super windy, and that was something I considered in getting this drone, is it does have wind resistance. I think they call it like level five wind resistance. I don't know what that means, but I do know that I've flown it in the wind and it handles itself really well. It can go, it's normal mode, it's like 17 to 20 miles an hour, and you can turn it on like a speed mode and it goes up to 27 miles an hour. Um, as far as handling, whether you're using the controller and, and the little knobs or using your phone and putting the controls on the phone, it handles pretty well, it's responsive. Um, every once in a while, it's a, I feel like it's a little jerky, um, not so much with the controller, but if you're just using your phone and you have like the little knobs on the phone, it's, 
really, really sensitive, and so if you're just trying to turn a little bit or whatever, it doesn't work well. Uh, the circle mode is really cool, um, and for landscapes and things. And one thing, I didn't even know this when I first got it. Um, I would have gotten it anyways. Well, obviously I did, because I didn't know about this. But one thing that EXO has done is they kind of pride themselves in their customer service. Um, they're trying to make a name off how well they treat their customers. And having interacted with them for a couple times, I had a couple questions and I needed to contact them. They're super responsive, get back to you right away, um, if not immediately. And so that's really cool. But as part of that customer journey or customer experience, they've actually created a bunch of videos. Now, when you first get the drone, the installation and the startup video and the thing that takes you through the basic modes, that's super cool. But in addition to that, they have, I think, like a seven episode series of how to take your drone flying to the next level. And so they give you um, tips on how to take great landscapes and how to do different things with your videography. And as a fairly new uh, videographer, as someone new to content creation with YouTube and things like that, I have found that their videos are actually really, really good. Um, I'm surprised they don't have them on YouTube, they just have them on their website, but they're fantastic videos. So that's kind of one of the bonuses of getting one of their drones is at least you'll learn about their video series. It does come with a bag and the bag is pretty nice. So it's just a, a normal carrying bag. I know that kind of is now standard on your higher end drones, uh, but it's a pretty nice bag. It has enough room for both your batteries and space for notes or whatever. So it is a pretty nice case, um, which I've enjoyed because I'm carrying it around a lot to, to go in different places. Um, Here's just my overall impressions and feelings about this drone. I think that it's perfect for someone who is trying to go from hobbyist as far as just flying drones for fun to someone who's a legit content creator and is trying to take great scenery shots, great um, aerial shots, zoom in on different things. Uh, my son has a, a cool channel, it's called Crazy Fast Car, where he's restoring a 1967 Ford Mustang and I'm really excited now to have this drone to just while he's out working on the car, welding it and doing different things, I can zoom in on different angles um, just to have some really, really awesome B-roll. So as a content creator, that's what this drone is gonna do for me. It's, it's gonna elevate my B-roll game so that I can be more of a storyteller. Now, if you want to pick up one of these drones and I highly recommend that you at least consider it um, you can go over to the website and I think I'll, I'll probably have some sort of link that I'll put in the description. So go ahead and check that out in the description and enjoy your XO X7 Ranger Plus drone. It's a great little drone. Alright, thanks. Bye-bye.